Okay. Welcome back to Module 2, Leadership Style in Crisis Management. Unit 1, Narrative Essay. In this module, we will be considering the type of essays. By the end of this module, you should be able to recognize various leadership styles frequently employed in crisis management, such as command and control transformation, servants, autocratic, democratic, and laissez-faire leadership. Grasp the merits and the merit associated with each leadership style and their potential effects on organization's crisis response. Identify the factor that can influence the selection of leadership style during a crisis, encompassing the crisis type and severity, the organizational culture and values, and the leader's individual traits and experience. Comprehend the significance of adaptive leadership within crisis context and the skill to modify leadership style to align with situational requirements. Acknowledge the role of leadership in steering the recovery phase and the significance of cultivating resilience and fostering trust among stakeholders. Grasp the ethical consideration intertwined with leadership throughout a crisis, including the imperative to harmonize the interests of diverse stakeholders and demonstrate integrity and transparency in action. Let's start by exploring autocratic leadership style. Autocratic leadership denotes a style of leadership wherein the leader makes decisions independently with minimal input from others under this approach the leader exercises significant control over the team or organization and expects strict adherence to their directives. The following are some key attributes of autocratic leadership. Centralized decision making. Autocratic leaders make decisions autonomously and do not actively seek input or opinion from others. They anticipate unwavering compliance with their instructions and may not be open to dissent or questioning. Number two, high control. Autocratic leaders maintain a notable level of control over the team or organization and at times they may employ fear or intimidation to ensure conformity. Number three, authoritative. Authoritative leaders adopt an authoritative demeanor and anticipate unwavering compliance without room for inquiry. Number four, tax focused. Autocratic leaders primarily prioritize achieving specific tax or objectives, often emphasizing efficiency and productivity over team, moral or engagement. Number five, limited autonomy. Autocratic leaders tend to base on limited autonomy upon team members and may not delegate decision-making authority. In situation of crisis, autocratic leadership can prove effective when swift decision-making is imperative and there is little time for consultation or collaboration. Nonetheless, it can also lead to resentment and distrust among team members and may not be suitable when situation necessitates creativity and innovation. Autocratic leaders should be prepared to adopt their leadership style based on the situation's demand and carefully consider how their approach influences team morals and engagement. Thank you. Hello, welcome to the second unit of this model. In this model, we will be discussing democratic leadership style. Democratic leadership style represents a leadership style characterized by the inclusion of team members in decision making and the solicitation of input from various sources. During times of crisis, democratic leaders often strive to establish agreement and a sense of ownership among team members. The following are key attributes of democratic leadership in the context of crisis management. Collaboration. 
Democratic leaders foster collaboration among team members and actively seek input from diverse origins. Their aim is to establish consensus and cultivate a feeling of shared ownership among the team. A strategy and contributes to building trust and assurance. Communication. Effective communication is a priority for democratic leaders, both within the team and when interfacing with external stakeholders. They actively seek feedback and input from others, striving to ensure that everyone is well informed about the situation and the measures being implemented. Empowerment. Democratic leaders empower their team members to take charge of crisis responses and to contribute their skills and expertise. They delegate decision-making authority and often guidance and support as required. Flexibility. In crisis scenario, democratic leaders may need to exhibit adaptability, adjusting their approach as circumstances involve. They are open to considering diverse viewpoints and are ready to modify plans and strategies accordingly. Accountability. Democratic leaders hold themselves and their team members accountable for their actions and decision. They take responsibility for the crisis response and work to ensure that the organization derives lesson from the experience. In brief, democratic leadership within crisis management entails involving team members in their decision-making process, emphasizing collaboration and communication, empowering individuals to assume ownership being adaptable and responsive and maintaining accountability. This leadership approach can be effective in forging agreements and confidence among team members and stakeholders and in formulating inventive solutions to intricate challenges. Hi, welcome back. I hope you are taking some notes. In this unit, we will be looking at laser fair leadership style. Laser fair leadership embodies a style where the leaders assign decision-making authority to team members and offer minimal guidance or direction. Within this approach, the leader affords team members the autonomy to decide and act while supplying necessary supports and resources. The ensuing are characteristic traits of laser fair leadership, delegating authority, Laser fair leaders entrust decision-making power to team members, permitting them to make autonomous choices, providing minimal guidance. Laser fair leaders often scant guidance of instruction to team members, allowing them to determine how tasks are accomplished and goals are attained. Trusting team members. These leaders exhibit trust in team members to make appropriate decisions and take action without constant supervision or explicit direction. Supporting team members. While providing necessary supports and resources are needed, laser fair leaders generally allow team members to work independently, encouraging creativity. Laser fair leaders foster a climate of creativity and innovation among team members, enabling them to explore novel ideas and problem-solving approaches. In summary, laser fair leadership entails delegating decision-making authority to team members and offering minimal guidance. This approach can be effective when team member possesses high skills and motivation capable of independent goal achievement. However, it may also lead to confusion or lack of direction if team members' roles and responsibility ain't clear. Effective laser fair leadership necessitates trust, support, and encouragement from the leader. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Unit 4 we have been able to establish the autocratic, democratic, and laser fair leadership style. The next leadership style we will be exploring is the transformational leadership style. Transformational leadership represents a style where the leader motivates and inspires team members to unite in pursuit of a shared goal 
Within this framework, the leader endeavored to establish a collective vision and share value among team members, igniting their commitment towards that vision. The subsequent attribute characterized transformational leadership. Visionary, transformational leaders possess a clear vision of the future and effectively communicate it to their team, motivating them to work towards their vision. Inspirational, these leaders inspire team members to unlock their full potential and collaborate for a common objective. Empowering, transformational leaders empower team members, fostering a sense of ownership and encouraging them to contribute their expertise and skills. Charismatic, a transformational leader possesses charisma, establishing robust connections with team members, innovating. This leader promotes innovation and creativity among team members, welcoming fresh ideas and creative solutions. In crisis situation, transformational leaders can foster trust and confidence among team members and stakeholders while also stimulating inventive solutions for intricate challenges. Effective communication and collaboration are prioritized and the leaders cultivate a strong team spirit and a culture of support and empowerment. Transformational leaders adjust their style to meet situational need, embracing calculated risks and novel approaches to reach their goals. Thank you. Welcome back. To end this model, we will be discussing situational leadership model. The situational leadership model conceived by Paul Hensey and Ken Blanchard during the 1970s underscores that successful leadership hangs on the developmental stage of followers. It recommends leaders to tailor their leadership approach to the prevailing circumstances. This model delineates four leadership styles spanning from directive to delegative and four level of follower development extending from minimal to advanced presented below are four leadership style and level of follower development escapulated within the situational leadership model the following are the leadership style in situational leadership model directing within the directing approach the leader furnish explicit instructions and closely monitors the followers tasks this style suit followers who are unfamiliar with a tax or lack the essential skills and knowledge Coaching. The coaching style involves the leader offering guidance and assistance to aid follower in honing their skills and knowledge. This approach is fitting for followers who are progressing in their skill development but still necessitates guidance and support. Supporting. In the supporting style, the leader extends encouragement and backing the followers permitting them to make decisions and assume more responsibility for their tasks. This approach suits followers who have mastered their skills and knowledge and seek increased autonomy. Delegating. The delegating style sees the leader offering minimal guidance and authorizing followers to make decisions. This approach befits highly skilled and knowledgeable follower who require minimal oversight. Let's take a look at the level of followers. Development. Low competence, high commitment. Followers at this stage are new to the tax or lack essential skill and knowledge but exhibit motivation and dedication to learning. Some competence, low commitment followers here possesses some skills and knowledge but lack confidence or motivation. High competence, variable commitment. These followers have achieved proficiency and confidence in their abilities but may display fluctuating motivation or commitment. High competence, high commitment followers in this category have strong skills, knowledge and unwavering dedication to their work. In essence, the situational leadership model advocates adopting 
the leadership style based on situational demand and followers developmental stage leaders should employ a directing approach for novices a coaching style for skill developing follower a supporting method for those needing autonomy and a delegating strategy for highly skilled and autonomous followers the model underscore effective communication support and empowerment as essential facets of leadership we have come to the end of this model in this model, we were able to explore the different leadership style in crisis management. You can go back to any unit to refresh your knowledge on the various concepts that has been covered. We have some test item in the next slide. Please do well to attempt it. Thank you.